So, I've had a request for some flying tips to do with how to fly nose in in particular. So I thought I'd cover that off in uh, my weekend vlog. So, here we go. Right, let's have a look at the flying area. Oh dear. Jasper? The first of uh, the things we're going to be flying is this little quad. Great fun, very small, virtually indestructible, perfect to learn on. First we just need to pop it on charge. Excellent. What we'll also do is we'll get this out. This thing's awesome fun. It's a real handful to fly though. But that's a good thing if you're learning. And then we've got this one. This, this one's one. a little bit easier to fly. This is a fixed pitch remote control helicopter. The other one's a collected pitch one, so it um, it really moves once it gets going. Right, the basics of flying nose in. Let's just quickly go over what the basic controls are. Where'd I put my pen? Uh, ah. Got it. That's what we've got is on there, on there. Okay, so this is for a mode two layout. And what you've got is your throttle, which is that one. And then you've got your yaw, which is that one. And you've got your pitch, forwards and backwards on the right stick. And then you've got the roll, which is the left and right on the right stick. And when the aircraft is pointing towards you, if you go left on the roll, the aircraft is going to slide to the right as you look at it and vice versa. And that makes flying quite tricky because all the controls are reversed except for the yaw. Because the yaw, if you put left in on the yaw, the nose is going to go to the... Hmm, yeah, the left is going to go round that way and the front's going to go and the back is going to go around that way. If it was facing the other way and you put the same yaw in, it would still do exactly the same thing. The yaw is only going to reverse if the aircraft's upside down. So in other words, yaw is your friend. Right, that's one of them charged at least. Yeah, these are going to take a little bit longer. We'll fly this one first. The problem with flying uh, quads is, or in fact any kind of drone, they look the same. Is that side on, front on? Yeah? It can be really tricky to keep orientated because they look so similar from all different angles. Oops. Right, so here's the thing. I do find that using the yaw quite a lot does help you keep your orientation. So keep the thing moving and rotating. You basically want it to fly like an aircraft would. 
as in, for the most part, going forward. And when you're learning, what you really want is something that's fairly indestructible and pretty, pretty unstable. Because if it isn't unstable, then you've got time to think about which side to move things on. And what you need is for it to become muscle memory. Because when it's muscle memory, that's when you're actually going to be able to learn to fly the thing properly. Oh, running out of power. Better land. That's better. This thing is quite a handful. Here we go. Now, when you're right near the ground, you get something called ground effect. You want to try and get through that as quickly as possible. It's the same when you're landing. Just sort of go up, come down, don't sort of mess around too much when you're just about to take off. What you want to do is you want to try and practice flying side on and hovering it. Right, like let's go. Try and stay in the same position. And you want to do the same when you're facing those in. Just try and hover it there and keep it nice and still. And also the other side of course. And it's that practice, you know, putting in little corrections and always putting them in the right way, that's what makes the difference. And it's not really about thinking about it. If you've got to think about it, the chances are you've, um, it's going to go wrong. So what you want to try and do is just get it into muscle memory so that uh, it all just flows. Right, let's land while it's still in one piece. Excellent. Right, let's try having a fly with this fixed pitch helicopter. These are less manoeuvrable than the collective pitch ones and consequently a little bit easier to fly. Now I have no idea if this is actually going to fly or not. I haven't flown this helicopter in about two years. Yeah, this is going to be your helicopter when you get old Jasper. It's entirely possible the battery's inaccurate on this one. Yeah, these indoor flyers, they really are the way to learn. Oh, no! It was all going so well as well. Let's try it with a new battery. Oh, that's better already. Yay! Right, so this is 
certainly much easier helicopter to fly than the other one. Then you just want to try and practice with its sidearm. facing in towards you. If you are uncertain of your orientation, just try and give it a little wiggle on the yaw and whichever side you put the yaw in, also put some roll. And that way you'll sort of, it, it'll, it'll get your eye in, so to speak. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the like button if you haven't already. And um, there'll be more flying tips and uh, various things that I've been trying out with my Phantom 4 uh, in the future. Also, if you have any suggestions or comments you want to make, please leave your comments below and uh, I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Ah, I think my son is at the door. Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh. Careful, careful. Be very gentle. Go. Uh, it's daddy toy. <laughs> yep, that's right. But it's going to be your helicopter when you get older, isn't it, Jasper? Oh, uh, uh, because I've got a bit on the front. Yeah, but that's the back. That's it's the tail rotor. The tail rotor.